Antique fans, and welcome to my antique channel. This is Deanna from Vintage Touch Antiques. Well, August 2016 is now history, and so it is the first of the month and time for a What's Been Selling video where I show you what I've sold this past month from the featured items listed here on my webpage. Okay, so August many times is a very tricky month for sellers, resellers as well as antique dealers, and many of them will tell you that their sales just dropped off uh, terribly during the month. But I am really happy to report that this year in August I did a really good, um, had a really good month, and so I'm very happy with it and, and eager to show you what has been selling. So here I've got up here the featured album. And again, I always remind my viewers that I have two sold albums that I have open at all times or on my webpage where you can go and check. And so when I start the new sold album for the next month, then in this case, it would be July will go away. Right now, I've got the August one up to show you what's been selling in August. Starting with the first item here. This is a nice 10 inch country blue stoneware mixing bowl. It had the nice embossed exterior there to it. Um, like I said, 10 inch diameter in very good condition and that bowl sold for $49. The next item, now this was an online sale and this was an early clay face Santa that had his little feather tree there as you can see in his hand, the clay face there. It's a Japan piece and he sold for $45. Hopefully you were one of my lucky buyers this month too. Now this piece is an antique uh, painted tin match holder. Uh, it would have, uh, you would have hung it on the wall. And I did put in some little sticks there with the red tips as faux match sticks just to, just to give you the idea what it would look like with matches. And it was a double uh, match holder there with the strikers on the front. Nice old piece and that piece sold for $12. The next piece was just, this is just the butter paddle itself that sold. It's shown here in one of the old butter bowls that I sell. But this early flat style a butter paddle sold for $12. That's a nice old primitive piece. I also sold this beautiful Victorian green glass beaded coin purse. It was a small purse. I believe it measured, yeah, it measured three by five and a half. It had the chain handle and the metal frame there. A really pretty piece. And I was able, I got this at a good price and was able to sell it for $29. Here's an old uh, bread knife. It had the nice serrated edge there, wood handle. It was 15 inches long, which is a pretty long knife. And this piece, uh, again, an old primitive, uh, sold for $10. This next piece was another online sale. This piece is uh, advertising cloth uh, sack or bag that once held 10 pounds of domino cane sugar. Now this piece I did have stuffed with polyfill and, and just whip stitched on the top so that it would make a nice decorative piece that you could put in your kitchen with your other collections or on display. And that piece sold online for $12. Now this piece I did, I do believe I showed it in what in maybe my new arrivals or haul videos. I, I always get mixed up on those, but at least I'm pretty sure I showed this in one video. Uh, this just a real tiny little uh, brown leather coin purse, and I added a little wheat penny there to it. Um, it was just really not much bigger than the penny, actually, and would make a great little piece to add with a doll, antique doll or something, but this piece sold for $7. And this next piece is a National Biscuit Company, Unita. I believe that's how it's, uh, how it's uh, pronounced. 
you need a baker's advertising tent. I think it, um, well, it's it's uh, the old pre-Nabisco company. And it had that Hawaiian tropical scene on the lid. And I did research that some, and it, it was um, selling for quite a bit online. So I was able to sell that piece for $20. And here was a great old early 19th century lithograph. It's a courier and eyes lith lithograph. And the title of this piece, it was Little Sarah. And I just thought she was just so adorable in her curls and little kitten there. And that one sold for $25. Now I also sold this Victorian silver plate tray. I just love the embossing on it and the elegance of it. Made a nice little jewelry tray or something to have on your vanity. It did have a mark, a company mark, Van Berg S. P. Co. And that piece sold for $9. Now, as I've mentioned before, I sell a lot of boxes, and this is an early wood cigar box. It had the nice little latch here on the front. Just a plain box, but still, it had the hinge lid, nice little uh, early piece, $10. And this was a beautiful celluloid box with a lot of applied brass metal work here and the little gold round legs. And inside had satin, two compartments, just big enough for these detachable cuffs. You could have put a collar probably on one side, but uh, one side held these cuffs and the cuffs went with the um, box, which was eight and three quarters by five by five and a quarter. And this piece sold for $29. Here was an early 19th century painted knife box or carrier with the divided sections in it. Very primitive with its original early paint just a great old piece, the way it was flared out there. Sold for $69. Now this was a, nut, a pair of little thread clippers and um, it, they were marked Griffin and Germany as their place of origin and uh, has the little stork there as part of the design and those sold for $13. And I also sold this beautiful 19th century narrow loom woven, woven coverlet. Now, the narrow loom means that it's done in two pieces and stitched together. And you can see the seam that goes down the center of this piece. It did have some wear on the edges and throughout. But again, such an early piece. Hard to find. Beautiful collars with the navy and the orange-red collar. That piece sold for $99. And now this was a great old piece. This and it was really quite large. It's a large sheep, and it was uh, a cutout of metal, a metal cutout that was once on a barn, I was told, from the person that sold it to me. And it measured 15 by 19 inches, a great folk art piece. As you can see, the red that streams down from whenever the barn was painted and, and so forth. And someone grabbed that up real quick for $42. Next, I sold a white agate glass eye wash cup. I do sell a lot of these kind of things, probably to use. They're very handy and they're much better than plastic ones, but they also display well with other apothecary pieces. And that one sold for $8. And another apothecary, this is a Keller's castor oil bottle with its original label and it also had the cork in it there. And that one sold for $10. And then this was part of my reduced merchandise. You probably, if you've seen my videos of my reduced items, uh, this would have been included in it. And he was it's a 1930s oilcloth Scotty dog. Cute piece. Sold uh, reduced down to $20. And he did 
uh, find him a new home. The next piece, these are two antique bone hand, these bone handle here, bone bodkin here. They're used for sewing. This one had the nice brass tip with the removable needle, and those sold for seven and ten, respectively. And here I had a large tin milk can strainer. This would have sat on top of an early milk can. Great old piece that had the strainer in the bottom here that would help to strain the milk. And that sold for $12. And this one was a, a beautiful little ruffled nightcap or a sleeping cap bonnet that ladies wore back in uh, the Victorian and 19th century times and this one sold for very nice with ruffles and so forth all around it and this one sold for $14. And then this is a great, I have it here against a ruler so you can see how long it was. It's a nice little pond boat and it was um, probably home constructed with the, it has the little oars there cute little piece and it um see if i have the measurement yes it measured 8.5 inches long and that piece sold for twenty dollars and then i sold this 19th century tin candlestick or chamber stick now this one did not have the finger hole but it does have the push-up lever there for the candle quite sought after in the primitive world, and this one sold for $19. And this next item were color buttons. It was a set of four different ones, and they were mother of pearl. One was a metal one here, all metal here, as you can see on the collar. And I believe that was an online sale, and those sold for $10. Here was a cute little early 1900s uh, cotton infant dress. Had the great little ruffled um, lace insert there and ruffled, I mean, lace trim sleeves. And this little dress sold for $13. Then I sold this doorstop. Now, this was indeed a doorstop and not half of a of a bookend. This one had the wedge back that is an indicator of it being a doorstop. It was an early piece with the scroll work there. Beautiful. So for $30. And this piece I did show on one of my uh, videos, maybe the new arrivals video, um, was part of my uh, store counter display. And this was an advertising receipt holder it was a cast iron base. That one didn't last long, sold for $15. And then I sold a couple, and this is the first one, of these invalid, invalid, excuse me, feeders. Sometimes they are infant feeders as well, but I believe this one was probably more so for the, for the invalid. Um, back in the day, using it for people that were bed fast to help feed them, and this one had a German make mark on it and that one sold for twelve dollars and this next one was a wt company simplex feeding cup and it did have a, a date i believe 1907 and that would have been on the bottom of it and that was a different designed one and i did have that one reduced down to ten dollars and it sold the next piece is an antique uh, textile mill wood uh, bobbin or spool. This one had the nice brass edges, and actually I sold a couple of these. This is the one I had featured here on this page. It was a very rustic, rough-hewn one, and this one sold for $8.00. And then I believe I showed this in one of my videos as well. And this is the 19th century cobalt decorated nine inch stoneware crock. And it was a beautiful piece with its beautiful cobalt decoration there. And another uh, primitive sought after in the primitive world. And this crock sold for $125. 
Then I sold an antique. This had the long handle and the hanging handle there, shown there in front of one of my old towels. But this is a, a skimmer that was used to skim cream and sometimes used um, in um, the making of other things as well. Anything that you would have to skim off something. And uh, uh, yeah, maple sugar making is what some people say this is also used for. And this one was did sell for $9. And here are these little puts composition turkeys. Now these are like the female type without the big, um, the, with their full feathers ruffled. Uh, I had one of these left. I had already sold one. And I mean, I'd already sold two of this group and I had one left and I did sell them for $18 each. And the last one just was just recently sold. Along with these little other puts, they're like stick legged um, a horse and goat there. They're just three inches tall, cute little animals, great for village scenes and primitives and just putting them around with your primitives and those sold for $10 each. And finally, the, another puts cow or bull, I don't know, he, he may have some horns there. If he, yeah, he's a bull. Um, and he also is a German and he stood two and a half inches tall and he sold for nine dollars. And then I saw one of these early beehive style musical powder boxes where you lift the lid and it plays the music and it did work. It was a nice piece, silver collared, and uh, you wind it up on the bottom and it sold for $13. And that brings me back to the beginning of my sold album. So I'm just going to take you to my front page on my web page and show you what it looks like here. And the sold album we just uh, reviewed was this one here that says what's been selling August 2016. I, like I said, the July one will go away once I start putting in things that sell in September. So you, if you want to check out July, you just dash right over there to my web page and open that album up. So before I close, let me direct your attention to the uh, description of my video where you will see the links to this web page here and my online store where I sell many uh, other antiques and vintage items. Also, I'll have links to other social media sites. I'd like to invite you to visit me where I sell at my Double Space Antique booth in Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. You'll find me in that mall on the left side, third row. Just look for the large sign that says Vintage Touch that hangs in the back of my booth. Also, before I close, let me uh, invite you to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. I have a wide variety of antique related playlists and I'm hoping that you would enjoy watching them and clicking on the bell for notification and also to share and to like my videos so that we can spread the word of the joy of collecting. And of course, I'd like to always encourage you to enjoy your collecting and learn the history behind these pieces because they are so rich in history. And remember, when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye till next time.